The tragedy of Hamlet, Prince of Denmark, opens after the death of the prince's father, King Hamlet, sometimes referred to as Old Hamlet. Old Hamlet has been succeeded by his brother, Claudius. King Claudius has also married Old Hamlet's widow, Gertrude. Hamlet, Gertrude's son, is very upset and distressed by his father's death and also by what he sees as the indecently hasty marriage of his mother to Claudius. The ghost of Old Hamlet appears to his son to tell him that he was murdered by Claudius and asks Hamlet to avenge his death. Hamlet vows revenge, but needs to establish whether his father's ghost is telling the truth. In order to discover the truth, Hamlet pretends to be mad. Polonius, who is a counselor in the court and whose daughter Ophelia is all but betrothed to Hamlet, believes Hamlet's madness is a symptom of the prince's love for Ophelia. Polonius and Claudius spy on a meeting between Hamlet and Ophelia in which Hamlet violently rejects her. A company of actors arrives at the castle and Hamlet asks them to perform a play that he hopes will prove Claudius's guilt by enacting the murder of a king by his brother. Claudius's reaction to the play confirms for Hamlet that Claudius did indeed murder old Hamlet. After the play, Hamlet visits his mother and berates her for marrying Claudius so quickly. During their encounter, Hamlet accidentally kills Polonius, who is hiding behind a curtain in his mother's chamber. Worried that Hamlet knows the truth about old Hamlet's death, Claudius sends the prince to England with plans to have him murdered. Laertes, Ophelia's brother, who has heard about the death of Polonius, arrives at the castle demanding revenge for his father's death. Meanwhile, Ophelia has gone mad with grief and has drowned herself. Hamlet, who has escaped Claudius's plans for him and returned to Denmark, confronts Laertes at Ophelia's funeral, not knowing that Claudius has already plotted with Laertes to kill him with a poisoned sword in an arranged fight. Claudius and Laertes' plot to kill Hamlet miscarries, and Laertes is killed with the poisoned sword. During the fight, Gertrude drinks from a poisoned cup that is meant for Hamlet, and she also dies. Hamlet, who has also been mortally wounded by the poisoned sword, kills Claudius, and then he too dies. Fortinbras, the Prince of Norway, arrives to lay claim to the throne of Denmark. Hamlet's dying words are in support of Fortinbras as the new king of Denmark. The play closes with Horatio, Hamlet's faithful friend, vowing to tell Hamlet's story to the common people.